We'll see a determined 16-year-old fulfill his dream of becoming a martial artist, even though he suffers from cerebral palsy. All this and more when that's incredible continues. The late, great Bruce Lee used to be known throughout the martial arts world as the Young Dragon. He was the epitome of the martial arts master, athletic, strong, and graceful. The incredible kid you're about to meet may not look much like Bruce Lee, but we have a hunch that the Young Dragon would have been proud of him. Since he was an infant, 16-year-old Les Toth has suffered from severe cerebral palsy. His mother, Jewel, explains. He is confined to a wheelchair, and he has, he has never walked. He's never run. You know, if he ever gets up to do any walking or running, it will be a miracle, which we all wait for and hope to see. I was just, you know, sitting around, not doing anything. I wasn't very active. All I was really doing was gaining weight. Les had discovered an interest in martial arts. He's always been interested in it. He's watched almost every one of Bruce Lee's movies, and I think that was one of the things that got him interested in it more. And I always wanted to get into it, but nobody would ever accept me into their schools. Everybody just said no. You know, they didn't even take the time to see me. You know, you're in a wheelchair where you, we can't really help you. Though he had already tried dozens of karate and kung fu schools, Les did not give up in his attempt to study the martial arts. He finally met success at a ninja studio in North Hollywood, California. It's run by Koga Ninja Master Frank Dukes. When Les first came in and I looked at him, he was in worse condition than what he'd even described on the phone. However, I looked at it as a maybe more of a challenge. I don't know. It didn't matter to me, is what I'm trying to say. But when I got in there, he said, get in line. I treat him as an equal. And that's when I think the reasons why Les progressed as much is because he's not used to being treated as an equal. And he needs his pride, just like anybody else. Since I've been on the training program, I feel a lot better, stronger. I'm teaching Les uh, how to use his whole body as a weapon and his chair and outside um, weapons. Les was considerably overweight when I first met him. He weighed approximately 250 pounds, maybe even more, which is a great deal considering he only stands 5 feet 3 when you get him standing up. We've knocked him down, I believe, to about 200, maybe even a little less. But a lot of that now is muscle, and muscle weighs considerably more than five. When I exercise less legs, I use an ancient technique called chirka. It's a massage technique, and it, it works on um, stimulating the nerves so that they themselves are stimulating the muscles. I also just work his legs and just work him mentally over his hump. Or his handicap. The first night that Les and I met Frank Dukes, uh, he had told Les by looking at his legs and having Les lift it to see the flexibility in it, saying and told Les that he would get him up walking. He didn't believe me. His mother certainly did not believe me, but uh, I believed. Les's determination and training eventually earned him his first promotion. At least, that's two, or four. Les, I'd like to say thank you to you, your own courage, leading the way, maybe a new experience for many people. For this, tonight, I want you to first cue right. It was a wonderful moment for Les, but now with Frank Duke's help, something incredible would happen. For the first time in his life, Les would try to walk. With the strength and stamina he acquired from three months of training, Les had also gained a great deal of courage. See 
us ever walk. So by seeing them walk, it was uh, the greatest thing for us. Now, there's, there's something to look forward to. And believe me, her left is a whole new life. Thank you.